Websites are pretty cool, so I want to make one. The issue is I'm pretty dumb, and I really have no clue how I would even get started. Lucky for me, Hostinger hit me up and offered to sponsor this video and provide me with their web hosting services for free. This means I don't have to worry about anything relating to website deployment, which is very cool. You guys know I wouldn't recommend you something unless I actually liked it, and Hostinger is no exception. Hostinger is known for their incredibly fast servers, ease of use, and great price to quality ratio, all of which was apparent to me when I actually started using it. I was given the opportunity opportunity to try their premium shared hosting plan, which I'll add costs almost nothing and gives you all of this awesome stuff. Using Hostinger to deploy the website was as simple as zipping up all of my website files and clicking import website. And within like 30 seconds, my website was actually on the web. What's that? You want a discount? Use the link in the description or head over to hostinger.com slash natedev and use coupon code natedev at checkout to get up to 97% off of your purchase. And yeah, thank you to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. To make this website, I needed to learn HTML and CSS. Through my extensive research, I found out that VS Code was the most common way to actually write HTML and CSS. But see, I'm a very creative and unique person, so instead of using VS Code, I went ahead and downloaded JetBrains WebStorm. And after waiting a few years for it to finish downloading, I started following this very quick and concise tutorial. The tutorial was very good, and it started by teaching us the basics of HTML. And within a few minutes, I was able to get this basic text on the screen. I then started to go apply for a job at Google when I realized that Google developers probably needed to know how to display images. Luckily, the tutorial went over it and I got it working pretty quickly. I then went to go apply for a job at Google when I realized that Google developers probably needed to know CSS. Luckily, the tutorial went through basic CSS and I went to go apply for a job at Google. At this point, I felt I was good enough to make a website without following a tutorial, so I skipped through the rest of the one that I was watching and got to work. I started by creating a GitHub repo just in case I accidentally left my computer in the fridge overnight and lost all of my files. I really didn't know what I wanted the website to look like, but I knew a big nav bar at the top might look good. And I had this software called Adobe LOL, I mean, sorry, Adobe XD, and apparently it's used for making mockups for websites like this, so I decided I would actually try it out. And when I first opened it, I... Well, at least there's a dark theme. Wait, there is a dark theme, right? Oh, I went into making this website with pretty much no planning, but I wanted to get started making the navbar that would be at the top of the screen. I quickly got a simple navbar set up which was looking pretty good, but I'll be honest, it felt a little boring, so I made each element scale up whenever you hover over it, which looked pretty bad, so I changed it to just a simple color fade, which I think looks way better. After that, being the master graphic designer that I am, I figured the navbar should be a different color than the body. So I grabbed a color from the palette that I created and applied it to the website. Wait, do you hear that? Night, you massive waste of carbon. This website looks absolutely terrible. A common house plant could do a better graphic design job than you could. I mean, seriously, come on, at least get rid of the terrible color palette. Actually, just delete the entire website. Start over, my gosh. You just destroyed my entire website. No need to thank me. Good luck not making the second design of the website even worse. So, it looks like I have to remake this entire website. I wanted the second design for the website to be very minimalist, aka I don't have to do a lot of work. I started by importing a new font called Montserrat, I think is how you pronounce it. I then quickly made a new color palette because the old one was mercilessly destroyed. After that, I made this text on the screen introducing myself just in case people don't know who I am. I now realize this is actually pretty irrelevant because I'm an absolutely massive YouTuber that everybody knows. And it looks pretty good, but it's a little boring because I like it when things on websites move and fade around and stuff. And because I'm a genius and like to learn stuff, I started learning JavaScript to make my first animation library. Just kidding, I ended up finding this GitHub repo that does everything for me, so I decided to just use that. With the animation library, adding animations was as simple as adding this to my HTML. And now we have animations that fade in when we scroll down, which looks very cool. I then made the text a little thinner and adjusted the animation just a bit to make it look more modern. And to finish up this section, I added line and made it animate in, which looks very good. Currently, when people land on my website, all they know is my name. So I wanted to add a section where people could learn a little more about me. But first, I wanted a button that would scroll down to that section when you clicked on it, just in case somebody didn't have a mouse and they couldn't scroll. And after getting the button displayed on the screen, I was able to center everything very easily. Um, like I said, I was able to center everything very easily. Hmm.
I found a pretty good method on Stack Overflow, so I managed to use that solution to center it very easily. Okay, you know what? We don't need the button, I guess. With the button gone, I figured I would just get straight into working on the section. But before that, I changed the color palette because I thought that the white was a little too bright. And with the new colors, I made this text that tells people a bit about me. And to finish off this section of the website, I just added these orange borders to the most important parts of the text, which of course looks very cool. Now, for the rest of the website, I wanted to make some sort of tab with all all of my projects. But see, I'm not actually proud of any projects that I've completed, and it's a lot of work to actually set something like that up. So to make it easier on myself, I figured I would just put links to all of my social medias. I started by drawing all of these icons in Photoshop, and when I say drawing, I mean just recoloring the original images. But we don't talk about that. I then added them to the bottom of the web page in a very simple grid, and I finished up the social media links by making them scale up whenever you hover over them. But with that, the basic design of the website was finished. The website looks good on my computer, at least in terms of scaling. But if I change the height and width of the window, it gets all weird and I don't really know how to fix it. Luckily, after a bit of research, I sort of got it all fixed. It's definitely not perfect, but that's about as good as it's going to get. And I'll be honest, for me, this is the biggest pain of web dev. <laughs> And that's it. If you want to see the website, just click the link in the description or head over to natedev.net. And while you're at it, head over to hostinger.com slash natedev and use code natedev for up to 97% off of your purchase. Also, feel free to join my Discord server and follow my Twitter. And yeah, hit like if you like, also hit like if you dislike, and please subscribe. And have a great day.